Hey YouTube Opinionative Review. Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to get Siri on your non 4S device. It's easy, it's free. The only downside to it is you're going to need a 4S or you're going to need to know somebody with a 4S. Now, it's going to consist of two uh, modifications from CD. One is called Assistant Connect 4S, and the other one is called Assistant Connect. Now the assistant connect you're gonna install you're gonna have to install that on a non 4s device which I'm gonna show you guys all of that. So without me ex before I explain, let me just <clears throat> tell you what you need to do first. We'll go to the process and I'll explain them as I go along. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is have Spire install on your your non 4s device. So you guys should know what Spire is. It's the thing that I think Chopone or whoever released in Cydia so make sure you have Spire installed on your device just go into Cydia and search Spire and most of you probably already know what it is and install it then you, you don't need any proxy server or anything then you're just gonna go up to general go into Siri and make sure it's on make sure you turn it on now I'm gonna go into Cydia And you're gonna go ahead and install. Just go over and search, and you're gonna go ahead and search for Assistant Connect, not the 4S. So you're gonna go Assistant Connect, and this is my iPod Touch. So we're gonna go for Assistant Connect. The other one, which is Assistant Connect 4S, we're gonna install that on our 4S, or you're gonna have to tell your friend whoever install it on their 4S. So you can go ahead and uh, read these stuff if you want to. You don't have to, but you can go ahead and read it. It gives you a rundown of everything. I already went through it. It basically gives you the instructions here. <clears throat> so just go ahead and hit install on this. This is my non-4S device. And for my 4S, I'm just going to go ahead and install Assistant Connect 4S. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm just going to go ahead and install it. Now this one here is make sure you install it on your 4S. The one that says Assistant Connect 4S. You can go ahead and read this once again and it tells you everything. But I'm just going to go ahead and install it. <clears throat> now respring your, make sure you respring your device, your non-4S device. And also respring your 4S after you install them. So my 4S we are resprung first. So what you're gonna do is go into your device and locate the icon. It's gonna be on an empty page or any empty space. So locate the icon for Assistant Connect, and you're gonna go ahead and open it. <clears throat> and <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and just open it. And now we're gonna go ahead and reboot. Open it, and then you reboot your device. Don't do anything. Else. Just open it, and then reboot your device. <clears throat> You don't have to do anything on this device yet. Just make sure you have your email set up on, on your non 4S device because you're going to have to email the, the verification keys and stuff, whatever you need, to this device. So make sure you have your email set up on this device. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot my 4S. So now that my 4S has rebooted, I'm going to go in. I'm going to locate the icon again for Assistant Connect 4S. Tap on it. <clears throat> and you're going to activate Siri. So go ahead and activate Siri. Say anything. Anything. All you got to do is say anything. You just Sorry, want her to I respond. It doesn't matter. Anything. So we're just going to close that out now. We're going to go ahead and hit email because you got you have to go ahead and email the, the stuff to yourself. So you just hit email and enter your credentials. So now we got to go ahead and send it. So I'm going to put in my credentials and send off my email to this. So I already sent the email. You guys should already know how to put in your email and send all that stuff. So I should get it on this device. So now I'm going to go on this side and go into the email. So as you can see, I'm, I'm in the email now. You see it says 0.9 megabytes. You don't want it to say uh, 00. You want it to make sure it says something. So we're going to say 0.9. So you're just going to tap on it. And you're going to click Open in Assistant Connect. And remember, you already install Assistant Connect on your non 4S device. So it has already loaded the file. You just click Dismiss. And make sure you respring your device. If you don't respring your device, it's going to say, uh, Spire is going to tell you that it hasn't been configured. 
because if you had you didn't install a proxy or put in a proxy credential or whatever you can use anything to respring your device I use I just use this respring widget you can use SB settings whatever you want to respring <clears throat> so after your device resprings all you gotta do is activate Siri what's the weather like here's the weather for today through this Tuesday there we go as you can see it's working what's the date it's Thursday February 16 <clears throat> 2012 what's your name my name is Siri there we go now there's a couple things to note I, I tried this I, I was trying this earlier and it didn't work and I had to restore my device after I restored my iPod Touch and I tried again, it worked in the first shot. So I'm not saying you're going to have to do that. I'm just letting you know what I did to get it working because it wasn't working and I, I tested it on two devices. So I decided to re, re, um, restore my iPod Touch and then I got it working. <clears throat> Another thing to note is every time you want, every time you, your key, you want to send keys because you see it tells me uh, my, my stuff it expires on the 16th. So you're going to have to always be refreshing. It's like refreshing the 4S keys and stuff. So whenever it expires, Siri is not going to work. You're going to have to email again. Make sure you always activate Siri first. And then after she talks, you go ahead and email the data. Or it's going to send a blank file. That's just things that you got to keep in mind. You only have to reboot the first time. After every other time, you just go ahead and activate Siri. Say whatever you want to say. And then you email it. If you have any questions, follow me on Twitter. I answer a lot faster on Twitter than I do in the YouTube comments. Sometimes it's like two or three days before I answer YouTube comments. On Twitter, I give a faster response. If you don't have a Twitter account, what the heck are you waiting on? <laughs> but that's basically it, guys. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.